Hello, Mr. Tidbits here, and I'm going to walk you through a, something I recently accomplished. It's been on a kind of a to-do list of mine, uh, is to do a rock wall inside of the house. And so I've never done it before. I've done tile for 20 years, but I kind of had a little bit of a knowledge of how to do it. Um, so I jumped on YouTube to try and fill in the, the gaps on uh, the differences between tile and rock. And so this is what I came up with. First of all, I found out that there is a wire mesh that needs to go on the wall first, but underneath that wire mesh, you can optionally put like tar paper or something. Because what happens when you put your mortar on the wall, it can actually suck the moisture right out of that mortar. And if you know anything about mortar or concrete, it has to have water to cure and be strong. And so that's why they put that moisture barrier on there. We went right on to sheetrock that had been painted and so I didn't feel like I needed it. It wasn't gonna suck the water out of, the, out of it. So I just put the steel mesh right on the wall. I don't have a very good clip of me putting it on the wall, but you can see afterwards, I just kind of pieced it together. It's all gonna be covered up, so it's not too important how it looks. You just wanna make sure it all faces the same direction. It has a direction on it, up or down, and that goes on the wall. And then you can put your scratch coat is what it's called. So it's a layer of mortar. You take some mortar, mix it with water and then you scoop it up with a trowel and if you turn your trowel sideways and it doesn't come off your trowel um, you know it's ready and so you get that mixture ready and then you start applying it to the wall about a half inch thick and then when you get it on there then after that you have to scratch it or take a trowel with teeth on it and scratch down through there and what that does is it gives a whole bunch of spaces for the mortar that's going to be on the rock itself to grab onto um, something just flat isn't going to hold on to and so that when you scratch that coat, it gives a whole bunch of surface area, so it'll really grab on and hold on. And uh, you let that dry, it needs to cure. Uh, I let it sit a day, and then the next day, came in and started putting the rock on. So again, you put about a half inch to an inch of mortar right on the back of the rock, and you stick it on the wall, and just start going up the wall. Now the important part, in fact, I probably spent more time on this than I did actually putting the rocks on the wall, is to get your layout. So basically I took this paper, laid it down, and then I drew where the window is, and then where the shelves go. So I'm trying to fit the rock around that to get the perfect layout, and then I'll take them from the bottom and start putting them in as I go up, and, and uh, hopefully they'll turn out. I have a quick clip of this, of me actually doing it, where I put paper on the ground and uh, did the layout, but that's super important to get your layout figured out beforehand because this rock isn't really a rock at all. It's concrete that has been poured into molds, so a lot of the rock looks the same. And so you don't, when you're putting stuff on the wall, you don't want to look and realize you have six pieces that are all identical right next to each other or you have spots that just don't work out right. So if you can lay it out on the ground and get your layout to exactly the way you like it and leave it that way, and then you just start grabbing pieces from the bottom, I realized that after a little while, if you grab too many rocks, you can forget where they were. <laughs> so I just end up grabbing two or three rocks, coming in, sticking them on the wall, and grabbing the next few. And, and you can adapt as you go. I ended up having some gaps that are a little too big, um, so I had to move things around. But um, that's the easiest way to get your layout. Now, to adhere it to the wall, like I said, you put a half inch of mortar on, but beforehand, you need to get your rock wet. Because moisture, again, if you pull the moisture out of the mortar, it's not going to cure. And so then you'll have rocks falling off the wall. So you take a spray bottle, you spray the back of that rock, put about a half inch of mortar on top of that. It doesn't need to be soaking wet, just moist, so it has some moisture to, to pull from. And then you stick that right to your wall. And if there are situations where I had to pull something off the wall and move it, I always remember to spray that mortar and the wall to get that moisture back in in case it is starting to absorb. So make sure you keep your, your rocks wet and uh, as you're applying it as you go and uh, space them out exactly the way you want. And then once the spacing is all correct, you got the wall done, you're ready for your grout in between. And it's just gonna be the same mortar you used. Uh, we used white for both the scratch coat, the, the mortar on the back of the rock, and the grout. It's all the same color, all the same stuff. So you put that in a bag and then that bag, you just sit and you squeeze that mortar out. I had to get the mortar a little bit wetter than I liked. Um, too wet, it'll just fall right back out of the cracks. But I got it wetter than when I had applied it to the wall. If not, I, I just didn't have the strength in my hands to shove it out of the bag. So you get it a little bit to where it wet so it's coming out. And you just go in there just like you're icing a cake and fill in all between all the cracks. Um, and then 
before it dries too much, you want to start laying, uh, spreading it out. So I'd take another trowel and I would just sit there and spread it out in between the rocks. Now we did what was called overgrouting. So typically you have kind of a space between the front of the rock and where the top of the grout is. So the grout's inset. We like the look of overgrouting. So the grout is as close to flush with the outside of the rock as we could get. It uses a lot more grout but it gives the look that we were looking for. We, on our wall, on the top, I realized I didn't quite put enough in as I got towards the top, and so I had to come back and add some more. And so it's okay to do that. It's not the end of the world if you have to add more. It's super hard to take some out though. So <clears throat> you just trowel that all out flat the way you like. Let it cure for uh, just, I went about maybe 15 minutes. And then I would go in and, and with a brush and I'd brush it across the top to kind of smooth it out and clean it up and make it look the way we wanted to. Um, I just used a regular natural brush that I paid a dollar or so for at the store. And so then you just go there and you kind of brush it and you'll know if it's too wet, if it's really smashing when you're, when you're brushing it, you don't want that. But you don't want it so dry that it doesn't take anything off. But as you brush it, it'll really smooth it out and make it look all nice and clean and finished. So you brush the whole thing out and then you're pretty much done after that. You let it dry and cure and you have yourself a wall. A few more tips as you're grouting the wall. I just worked in small sections. So I would fill in about two square feet or three square feet or whatever, and then I would brush it. And then fill another section in and brush that. As I worked, it was a lot easier to work just small sections like that so it didn't get too dry. If I got too far ahead of myself, by the time I was done brushing, what I was, when I got to the end of the brushing, some of the grout was just too dry. And so um, you don't want you to wait more than 10 minutes, 15 minutes. You just kind of have to feel it out and how much moisture you have in the air, uh, humidity can't affect it, how, how hot it is. We were indoors, so it was drying fairly quick. Well, I hope this video helped you out and uh, I hope you're also inspired to tackle a job like this on your own. It's a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, there's some great videos on, on YouTube and uh, th that'll help you tackle a task like this. There's also good help at the store where we bought the rock. They were super helpful and asked them a few questions and they, I think they deal with people like me all the time. And so they gave me a few pointers, things I needed to do, but one, one of the most common thing they said was you can do this. And I know you can't, it's not that difficult. But anyways, I hope this video helped you out uh, and I hope you come back and for more inspiration for the keeper of the home.